Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a toggle switch. So, a toggle switch works like this. This is the off state. When I click on this, it goes to an on state. When I click on the on state, it will go back to the off state. So without further ado, let me show you how to create it step by step on Figma. To create the uh, toggle switch, you just need a circle. Create a circle. I'll change it to 24px by 24px. Change it to white. And then add auto layout. For the auto layout, I'm going to give it a background feel of um, gray, right? So just find a gray color that's a bit darker. All right. <clears throat> So once I have this, I'm just going to change the padding from 10 to 4. And change the width to fixed width. And the width is going to be 64px in my case. For the border radius, I'm going to change it 100. Okay. Let me rename the frame. And let's call it <clears throat> Hoggle Switch. Create a slightly nicer effect. I'm gonna give it an outline of a lighter gray. All right. So now that I have my uh, first toggle switch, I'm just gonna create component and create a variant, add variant. For the second one, I'm gonna click on this to right align it. Okay, and for the second toggle switch, I'm going to give it a background of blue. As for the outline, I'm going to give it a lighter blue. Okay, great. Now I'm going to click on the component set. As for the property, I'm going to rename it and call it state. Click on the first toggle switch. For the name of the state, I'm going to call it off. For the second one, the state, I'm going to call it on. All right. Now, we just need to link up the uh, both switches together. Click on the first toggle switch, click on prototype, and click on interactions. Link it to the second one. And on click, I'm just going to change it to the uh, on switch. And from the on switch, if I were to click on it, I'm going to change it to the off state. <clears throat> Just to test that it works, I'm going to add a, a frame. Um, let's add in a uh, iPhone uh, mini. All right, let me just make it a bit smaller. <laughs> All right. Okay, go to my asset. I'm going to look for toggle switch. Okay, found a toggle switch, put it here. Actually, for the frame that I'll be doing a showcase, I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller so that it is a little bit clearer when I um, click on the prototype. All right, just to make sure that it works, I click on prototype and click on flow starting point. Let me just rename it to showcase. Click on play. Let's see what happened. All right, it's a little bit small. Let me click on options. Click on fill screen. All right, let's click on it and see whether it works. All right. Um, the interaction is a little bit snappy. Um, let me just go back to the. Uh, to change the interaction from instant to smart animate. All right, let me just go back. All right, for the interactions, instead of instant, I'm just going to change it to smart animate. And for this, I'm going to do the same smart animate. All right, let's click on play again. All right, now you can see that the uh, transition is pretty smooth. When I click on it, this little circle thingy, it is sliding to the left and right. All right, 
So that's how you go about creating a toggle switch in less than five minutes, I suppose. So if you like this kind of video, you know, uh, feel free to subscribe to keep yourself updated on the upcoming videos that I'll be uh, coming up with. So I'll see you in the next video.